So if you like uh, family offices orchids as much as I do, then this is probably the video for you. Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiesma, also known as ETA. See, so yes, I'm over here, you guys. <laughs> this is the video I think a lot of you guys are waiting for. This is uh, an uh, update on all my family offices in bloom. And uh, before we go over them one by one, I just wanted to mention that the previous one, that was actually the first one, the first big update on my file wall, is my best video so far. And the best video in this case uh, means uh, the most views. So I have, I have over 7,000 something views on that video. And for my channel, that is a lot. So it's uh, the second in my top 10. There's one art tutorial that uh, has even more, but uh, then uh, the, the fail update comes, the fail wall. So anyhow, that tells me that you really like this video and I completely understand why, because it's, it's a lovely having them all in bloom. If you look at the colors, the shapes, it's absolutely wonderful. So yes, I'm going to take my time and we're going over them one by one. So uh, let's start. So maybe you uh, remembered it, but last year we started from left to right. And this time I'm going to start from right to left. So and before I'm going to do that, I just wanted to have you a look at this view. Because it's, if you ask me, amazing. It looks so beautiful with all those flowers. So yeah, this is a, a spot I could stand uh, probably all day. Because uh, it gives such a nice feeling of all the beautiful flowers, the sea of flowers. So yeah, I'm on the right side now of the wall. So let's start with this beautiful yellow one. It's absolutely one of my favorites and uh, this one has a name for a change. Most of my files do not have an original name, but if I have it, I will give it to you. And this is the Dragon's Gold. And I uh, just give it a sniff. There is a bit of a fragrance, but not to write home about, and it's not very nice either, but there is a bit of a fragrance. And this is one that I have for longer. This is just an old leaf going over now, but you can see the cake is here. Some uh, spikes on those. Not in bloom yet, but this is. So that's the first one. And next to it, a, a fairly known one. <laughs> this is the Mini Mark. Absolutely beautiful. So it's beautiful details on, uh, on that flower. And mine has this here a second spike that is uh, a little bit hugging with the other one, but the, here she is. <laughs> so, and while we're here, this is the uh, the orange one, is the uh, Yupin, I need to check, Yupin something, Cupid, yes. Yupin Cupid. For me, an absolutely must have. The colors are amazing. If you love the oranges, you will love this one. It's very bright and, whoops, I'm sorry for the shaking. Absolutely beautiful. And I have these two together. This is a little bit of a pair because they uh, do so well together. I think it's because the the orange lip on a mini mark, but uh, I think they are very cute together. <laughs> but absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, that's a must-have, if you ask me. Well, next to it, we have another yellow one. And this has, let me quickly count, five spikes. Here we have uh, more blooms, more blooms, <laughs> more blooms. And this one is going over. It looks like it has some trip damage. I'm fighting the trips. So far, uh, so good, but I still have a few here and there. And this is called the Sogo Meili Zogo. There is the name tag. So that is this one. This one really likes to flower with multiple spikes. That is this one. Then next to it, we have this beauty. Oops, there is a, another spike of her in the screen, but here she is. So the second spike is coming, as we just saw. Some damaging there. I think it's now done. Yeah, this leaf looks better. 
So I think it was spider mites. I'm not completely sure. And this I bought as no ID, but I think it's the Zogo Got Gotris. I think it is. I'm not completely sure, but it's very similar. Then in between here, hiding almost, <laughs> this beautiful spotted one, also a mini fell. I have no name for it. And it's a bit of a color changer, as you can see. It opened up very yellow, and then it got goes to that pale color there. But nonetheless, very, very beautiful, I think. Then up here, we have this beauty. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I nearly lost it. This one I have for years and years, and I was trying to send me hydroponics, and I didn't know how to do it. But she is coming back, as you can see. We have a lot of roots, and she is uh, starting to bloom again. I think it was uh, last year also in bloom, but the spikes, I think they are getting a bit bigger, and especially the blooms. So that's good. This is Fenleops' uh, leopard's print. Leopard print. So that is that one. And then here, yes, yeah, some of them are already going over. Well, I'm saying already. This, these were, were the first to open up the blooms. But I was waiting for a few other ones. So yeah, these do not look as beautiful anymore. But yeah, then I saw these getting over. So now I started to film, but we will have some buds as well. But these are open as well. And no names for these guys, but nonetheless beautiful, I think. And up there is just opening up. Let's zoom in. Looks very similar to the previous one, but this, this is a little bit more with a more yellow, creamy color and the red spotting. So let's go down and go to a bit of, oops, yellow and orange. <laughs> this is called uh, Fenleopsis Las Vegas. Beautiful, if you ask me as well. I really uh, enjoy uh, oranges on flowers. You know, I am uh, always <laughs> going for the yellow and the white, but orange is also beautiful, very, very bright. Fairly bright, but you can see that one is even brighter, the little one we just saw, but this is, uh, like I said, the uh, Las Vegas. So let's go from Las Vegas to uh, sort of the roof. <laughs> there we have this one. I will put my hand behind it so it does show up the color a bit better because the LED tube that I have. But this is also no ID, but there is a Vanilliopsis ox something that is very similar. But I love the colors on these. The pink with the yellow goes so well together. Absolutely beautiful. And next to it, this is a mislabeled one. So in the f at first I was a bit disappointed, but now I'm going. To, I'm starting to love it more and more. This, these blooms are fairly waxy. This is a uh, l more of a lime green with a red. And yeah, see, it's beautiful, but no name for it, sadly. No name for it. Then down here, maybe you recognize this one. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I had a, a similar, or an, uh, not similar, a, and just a video only about this one. I believe two of them. Last year it had about 18 spikes, if I remember correctly. This year we lost a few. We now have 13. But uh, still, I mean, 13 spikes on a fell. That's amazing. And in that video I mentioned that the blooms were a little bit smaller, and now they are a little bit bigger. So there's more energy to put in uh, these spikes. Because, like I said, it has a few uh, less than last year, but you can still see a lot of roots. And it does make a basil cakey on the other side. I think you can see it. This is the cakey, a mother plant. I had a slug on it or something. But that's the mother plant. This is a cakey, and I have a cakey here in between the leaves. I hope you can see it with a mealy bug on there. No. It's just an old spike. I have also a few mealy bugs. But anyhow, so I think that's why it doesn't have as many spikes. But still, I mean, 13 spikes. <laughs> What's more is there to ask for? Look at this. Beautiful show. Absolutely beautiful. Um, now I have that challenge to get the tag. Yes, it wasn't as hard as I thought. 
this is it's the crush. I'm not sure if it has already a name, but when I bought it, it didn't. So it uh, is. Those are the parents of this one. Absolutely beautiful. Next to it is a no ID. Very nice. This is a gift from my husband. Sadly, this is the one that has the spottings on leaf, leaves. And I'm not completely sure, so I'm not sure how long it will be here. And we had some warmer temperatures and this one doesn't like it. It drops the blooms. Is it around 30 degrees? Some of these fells start to uh, drop their uh, blooms fairly quickly. Although this was in spike, in bloom, I should say, for a while. And it's starting to extend the spike. So maybe a combination of the two. But anyhow, this is a uh, very nice uh, no ID. And then next, next to it, look at this. If you compare the sizes, well, you cannot bear <laughs> But this one, this is, uh, this is easier to show. Like this for the size. But this one um, has larger blooms. And I think I, I hope I pronounce it well, but this is the Montreux or Montreux, something like that. But it's absolutely beautiful. And it has another spike there, as you can see. So yeah. I hope you can see now this bloom in my hands and, and then we have this one. So yeah, this is obviously bigger than this one. Let's go down here because we have more of these beauties. Well, actually, um, let's do first this one. This is the Surf Song. Absolute beautiful. Also a bit of an orange with some red striping in there. So that's what I really uh, enjoy this one as well and currently as you can see three spikes in bloom on this one and then it's next to it but this is <laughs> the blooms are above is the family karen alba and she has a spike over here and down here this is a more newer one fresher blooms so she is uh, located here next to the surf song and then we have this one this is a very old one these blooms are a little, little bit smaller not completely sure why because the plant itself does have uh, quite a root system this is she but yeah i need to focus on uh, growing leaves on this one normally i don't cut the spikes if not necessary but this one might benefit from it so it has more uh, energy for for the leaves making the leaves so that is what we're going to do. But I can obviously see that these flowers are not as they should be. So that needs some interference. But I let it bloom because he's now in a blooming stage. So if I cut a spike, I probably put up another one. So I'm letting her bloom. But then in the growing season, I will focus on leaves and not on blooms. Then we have this one. This one is going over, obviously. This is <laughs> not open yet. It does uh, remind me of the Lacaste <laughs> somehow. Some blooms here, but do we have another one? No, this is uh, something. Okay, here she is. I needed to really need to look for the pot where she's coming from, but obviously I need to just stay uh, focused on the spike, and I will find the original plant. Here she is, hot kiss. Shishing hot kiss. That is he. I see this a lot with other growers. Completely understand why. It's a beautiful bloom, but sorry, I cannot show it completely. But it's a big lip fell and it has beautiful uh, uh, purple, oh, purple colors on there. And then here, this is also a beauty. No ID, but just a, a regular uh, purple one with some there's also some pink in it I'm not completely sure why but these flowers do uh, get a more <laughs> of a uh, pattern in there funny enough I'm not completely sure sometimes it's not actually funny and it's more of a virus <clears throat> but i think i think it's okay i have no idea these look fine to me but yeah like i said it's a no id but it's a beautiful growing one very strong fell beautiful root system very, very hard leaves, so yeah, that is doing fine. Next to it, let me zoom out a little bit. The one on the left, the more pink one, I mean, this is the irregular size of blooms, and then you have this one. This is huge, and that's why I bought it. Look at this. 
a huge bloom. <laughs> I'm not really uh, loving this pink color that much. I'm not hating it at all. But yeah, it, it really does make up because of the size. It's very impressive. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Like the Fenley Opsis Ox with the yellow. Let's go up quickly. I don't want to make you dizzy. That, that pink, that is what I love. It's more deeper, I call it richer, deeper pink. This is more paler. But yeah, like I said, because of the size, I think she is making up for it completely. Completely. Uh, it's a no ID, but I found it at IKEA. Funny enough. Absolutely stunning. So I saw it there for sale, I didn't buy it, and but it kept swimming in my head. So I went back, I said to my husband, I'm sorry, but I need to get this file. So stupid, I should have bought it straight away. But I did go back and it was still there waiting for me. <laughs> but you can see also very large leaves on this one. Also a bit of a discoloration there, I'm not completely sure why. But so far it does look healthy. Although I would love a few more leaves. This one has, has very strong leaves, but only three. I like to have a four or five on my fails if I can manage. Well, same story. We are a bit in the pink purple color uh, range here. <laughs> this one is just a little bit different than the previous one. And this is fairly funny. I think it's looking very great now. That's, yeah, those leaves are very hard. I did found it in a second-hand store and was completely uh, ne neglected and damaged leaves. So I thought, you know, I'm going to buy it. I think I only paid one euro for it or something like that. I had no idea of the blooms, but I thought that this is going to be a nice surprise. And if I was, um, I thought it probably is going to be a white one, but it's it's not. It's more of a pink purplish one. It's actually more pink than purple, but I can also see a little bit of purple in there. Speaking of which, <laughs> here is a uh, more regular white fowl. Nonetheless beautiful, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think you uh, can rely. If people know you like orchids and they want to send you a gift, most of the times they come with a white fowl, which is very generous, but we already have so many orchids. We don't need uh, a multiple of white fells. This is the same plant. Yes, this is this. I needed, I needed to check. Anyhow, nonetheless beautiful. Let me back a little bit, like off a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful splash of blooms. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Nice size to it. Not tiny at all. But yeah, like I said, we have uh, enough white ones. This is a different uh, fell. So uh, and I kept this one on purpose because of the shape of the uh, flowers. It doesn't show up as much now, but it's a more rounded type of flower. In, in this case, this year, it's not as much. But anyhow, and this is a keiki from a, from a plant, a mother plant of uh, one of my friends. So uh, she has the mother plant and I'm really, uh, I like it. I like the uh, little story behind it. <laughs> also growing uh, very nicely. Nice leaves over here, and the roots that go with it, of course, are in the pot. There they are. And then here we have, let me see, the jaguar. I just repotted it yesterday, so that's why the uh, flower spikes are a little bit on a strange angle. <laughs> it was leaning forward, as you can see, so I put it back, and I hope it will find a, her way, but that's why the spikes are in a bit of a strange direction. Nonetheless, beautiful. I bought this one uh, uh, called Fenliopsis Jaguar. I don't know, it probably is a commercial name, I'm not sure. But uh, I, I really like the bloom. So yeah, I'm sorry for the strange um, view on these guys. They are a bit of upside down, but that's the reason why. <laughs> let's, uh, let's back off a little bit. So we have this section. A very coral forest section. <laughs> Let's go over here. We just saw the white and whoops, and a pink one over there, purple one. This is the peach uh, color that I also really enjoy. Also, n no name for it, but beautiful blooms. I really like the orange and the yellows. Nice uh, structures on there. Pattern, I should say. I'm sorry. That's a very nice one. And then in the back, 
a fairly large one as well. I'm trying to f find a way in between my uh, conifer plant over here. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry for the shaky bits. I can barely see what I'm doing. There she is. Let me zoom in. Isn't this beautiful? Oops, there's a leaf in my mouth <laughs> from the carnivore. But anyhow, <laughs> she's beautiful. Let me uh, try to give you a better angle. It's a bit narrow here. Here we go. <laughs> See, I think this is a little bit better. Absolutely beautiful. Really enjoy the pattern on these guys. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can have a look at this one. And this is the Pika G something. Francis Pico T. Francis Pico T. This one has a name. Let me see, where's the tag? It's, let me zoom in quickly on the tag. So there you go. For the ones who want to know, that's Pico T. And that is this one. So a nice spike. Sadly, this one is going over. It had some trip damage. I sprayed it and it did well. We have some new blooms here. This is a fragrant one, but it doesn't have a name. But this is the, the saddest one for today, I think. <laughs> um, let's go up here. There in the corner, just underneath that light bulb. I hope I can get it in a nice fuse like this. This is the only one, only peloric one that I have. Let me slowly zoom in a bit more. I love the colors and the pattern on this one, but I'm not a big fan of the peloric. No, never have been. It's just, no. But I love, love this one, the colors on it. So I keep it, <laughs> I will keep it. But to be honest, let me zoom out a little bit. If you compare this with, let's say, just, quotation mark, just this one. I absolutely love this more. It's simple, but it's not, not yeah, more simple, I think, flower-wise. If you would put it like that, we don't have the peloric, so the lip imitation on the uh, petals here. But I love it. I love this so much more. So colors, okay, you can mix it, but don't touch the blooms. If you ask me the shape of the blooms, I love them so much. Anyhow, not a big fan of peloric. So, and this is another one I could see going over. Beautiful yellow pink one. Probably my favorite one. But yeah, it's not as vibrant anymore because it's, as you can see, it's starting to get over. So that was uh, one of the reasons why I start filming this. So we can have a glimpse of this beautiful spike. Very nice large spike. This is the plant herself. There she goes. As you can see, we are missing a few leaves. This leaf, leaf, funny enough, stayed on and we have two more. So this one, I need to focus on growing those leaves uh, as well. So a few of them could have a few more, more leaves here and there. So yeah, and this is the reason why I'm, I'm waiting. I was waiting. We had some buds here and there, but this I will film in a uh, blooming update, a regular blooming update. Down here, or tucked down here in between the leaves is this one. <laughs> Look at that, also very beautiful. One bloom on this spike, as it's, it's a branch, but we have another branch here that is giving us, uh, well, at least one more, but I think a few more, who knows. <laughs> and then we have this one, same story as the one in behind there in the back. Uh, it's not open yet, but we, uh, there wasn't any more time, I think, to wait. <laughs> and then this one. It's a bit of a coral, red, orange type of color. Absolutely beautiful. I think this is the Smart Kingfisher. Let me zoom in a little bit on the tag for those who want to know. But I think, I'm not completely sure. So officially I did bought it as a no ID, but it's absolutely beautiful and fragrant. Yeah, absolutely beautiful spike and blooms on there. So let's go down here. There's another one. It's going over, as you can see. Uh, can see. This is my bronze maiden. But here are luckily two more fairly, no, yeah, fresh, freshish <laughs> blooms. And as you can see, I have more of the yellow version. It starts pink and then it becomes orange after 
three, four days, I think. And then it's, it's yellow for uh, at least a few weeks. And then it's going over. <laughs> it starts to, uh, I should say, then it goes brown and then <laughs> it's gone. Anyhow, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I love the yellow, as you uh, probably know by now. So, uh, yeah, don't mind it at all. And then look at these beauties. This is the Sogo Relax. Very nice waxy blooms. And it has more spike, a longer spike here. There, so maybe, maybe I did repot it and you can see this leaves is smaller than the other one. Maybe it would be an idea to focus also more on the leaves. But this one has roots as well. So it probably will, uh, will be better in the near future. And these spikes, yeah, maybe some, uh, yeah, this one is going better now in behind. I did spray it for uh, thrips, but uh, yeah, like I said, that's, that's how I look at my fells. That's, that's why I'm telling you guys uh, this in between my blooming updates. It's a little bit of care guide. So I always watch what is the plant doing. Obviously I can take it out of the pot and I don't know if you can see it, but that long root there is coming from this one. So it's doing fine. It's also doing fine in the pot. That's why I'm leaving the spikes on. But the previous one that I said I needed to focus more on the leaves uh, has the roots, but it's taking too long to get uh, back into a nice growth where this one is picking up quicker. So I'm going to leave it like this, but I'm going to keep an eye on this leaf. If it is getting the same size, I need to cut off the spikes, but I think it's okay. So I hope that helps a little bit. Of course, you can always ask me the questions in the comments. This is also a beauty, isn't it? Lovely shape, a lovely color. And a nice branch, beautiful, beautiful spike. We still have some buds, a lot of flowers on there. And yes, this one comes with a name. Let me grab the tag in between the roots. This is C. I'm not going to try to pronounce this, <laughs> but this is the one we are looking for. Let me, whoops, stop shaking it. There we go. So there is that one. Then down here, look at that. I think you recognize it. A lot of growers have this one. This is the Citriana, finally up the Citriana. Beautiful spike. And I hope you can see the beautiful model leaves on there. And if you could see the size of it, you know this, this plant is not that old. They can have quite long uh, leaves. I have it now for two years, I believe. So yeah, fairly young plant, but it's doing well. It's blooming uh, beautifully for us. And then down here, something similar. If you see on the, on the pattern there on the leaves, look at this. And I believe that there's also a white variety, but I'm, I'm happy with the pink one. I really was going for the pink one. And this is finally up Syriana. You probably noticed that already. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Very nice fragrance on this one as well. Absolutely beautiful. Then next to it, it's also a Citriana variety, but then the yellow one, it's called uh, Citriana variety nobilis. So we have the white one and this is the yellow one. And I absolutely love it. The shapes of the flowers, it's beautiful. The flowers, I think you can see it, is a, are a little bit smaller, but nonetheless beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this is the nobilis uh, variety. And then we have, and no ID, it's a pink with a orange lip. These flowers are going over, have a nice new, new bud. Then if they are a bit fresher, we have a, the pink is a bit deeper. So it will stand out a little bit more on that lip. Sadly for this video, it's not. And anyway, I have a few mealy bugs on there. I noticed those. And I just spray some alcohol on it and it's fine. But anyhow, this is, uh, I have no name for it. But it has these beautiful blooms. I will do it in an, another update so when it's just opened up. And then you have this beautiful pink on there and goes so well with that orange lip. So I really want to show it to you guys. Doesn't this look pretty, all those colors? <laughs> I'm also a little bit distracted if, this, if I do this video. There's so many colors here. Then we have this one. Also uh, a yellow and white variety. Beautiful shape, more uh, waxy flowers. 
I think we can uh, class this as a uh, n more of a novelty summer blooming fell, but this one likes to bloom with the others. So uh, yeah, I have a few more summer bloomers. Not all of them are in bloom, but a few do. So it's not that they always will bloom in, in uh, summer. But beautiful, and this has a beautiful fragrance. I have the cross for you. I don't have the, it don't, I'm not sure if it has a name on its own, but this is it. And I was inspired to buy this one from uh, Annabelle from the Orchid Room. She had it and she did a, I think she did a uh, one video about it. A spotlight video, I should say. I'm not sure, but I saw it there and I thought, yeah, I'm going, I, I, I want this. And I'm lucky, uh, I'm very uh, happy and uh, that I did it, that I did buy it. It does get uh, quite some size to it now. Looks very beautiful. Plus a beautiful citric type fragrance. Absolutely wonderful. And speaking of fragrances, this is my Leodoro. Th yeah, this one keeps on being very pretty. This, this bloom is going over as you can see. But yeah, look at these colors. And then the fragrance with it, it's just such a bonus. <laughs> this is the mother plant. We have more spikes, as you can see, not blooming currently. But what I wanted to show you as well is that I have a basil cakey. I think I had it uh, last year as well. It's fairly big, but the mother plant luckily is also still growing. So this might become quite a nice size plant in the near, near future as well. It's already a nice size, of course, but it's probably will get even bigger and we might have more of these beauties. Absolutely stunning. So let's go down here. We're almost there. You guys are almost there. This is what I'm talking about. Yellow and white. This is what I like. And yes, this has a name. I was inspired by, uh, he's also a, a subscriber to my channel, but I met him at the Facebook group. I, he had his one there in bloom and I said, do you have a name for it? And he said, yes, I have. This is the name and uh, that's why I bought it. I was really inspired. But I'm not completely sure if he would be okay with me giving his name, etc. So I think you know if I'm talking about you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy with this one. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice plant as well. A lot of roots there. Every root. It's doing well, nice leaves. And then we have this one. We have one flower here, maybe you saw it already, that is a little bit off. <laughs> it should look more like uh, this one. Or this one, this one is a little bit smaller, just opened up, so they will get a little bit bigger. And this is called uh, Fenoliopsis Linette. Linette, let me grab the tag. What is, yeah, there's a number behind it. So yeah, that is C. A nice plant, very nice plant. And next to it, this one is just starting to open up for our video. Beautiful spike on there. I have no name for this one. It's fragrant and it's uh, very nice. It's a mini, as you can see, but sadly no name for it. And I think you guys, we're going to watch the last one now that is hanging here with three beautiful spikes. <laughs> Very nice mottled one. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? I bought it as a Phenoliopsis Maya, but I think that that is a commercial name. Sadly, because this is stunning. I love the pattern on this in these colors. It's a bit of a yeah, white, slightly greenish color. Just a little bit greenish in there, I think, with that purple, almost burgundy color. Yeah, it does look so pretty, and especially if it has more spikes. We have an older one there on the right, as you can see, with one bloom. But these together, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, stunning. Such a beautiful show. It's a nice big fail as well. It has a keiki. Oh, this spike is coming from the keiki. That is it. And that's why I love the keikis, because if they start to bloom as well, together with the mother plant, I mean, beautiful, right? This play you get. 
And I think it's enjoying her life, as we can see on the roots, very long roots as well, beautiful leaves. Yeah, very nice size. So that is this one. No, we're not there. I, did, I do forget one, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that is also a novelty summer bloomer. Look at this. Very, very nice. This is, this is coming with a name. Oh, I cannot take it out. Whoops, don't break the bloom. There's a name tag for you guys. It's in a cross with the LD's, LD's Bear King. So that is one bloom and it just opened up a few more over here. Aren't these pretty? Absolutely beautiful. Nice fragrance on it as well, on these blooms. How could I almost forget you? <laughs> so let me quickly check. I think we didn't forget anyone so far. So we have a few in both as we just saw. But like I said, I will do them in a, uh, a blooming update. Let me go over quickly with you guys because it's so beautiful to film this. <laughs> if we're to see if we forget something. I don't think so. I don't think so. So you guys, these are my fails. I believe I have something, uh, almost 80 of them. I'm not even sure at the moment, um, but I love them. And it, they do look so wonderfully well on a fell wall. <laughs> so I keep it calling the fell wall, of course. But um, yeah, I do get a, quite some comments on that. I had no idea when I started this greenhouse that it would be such a success. To be honest, I started this just to save some space because of the leaves. That's, that's the first thing I thought I'm going to hang them on a wall because that may uh, save me a, a bit more room on the shelves. I mean, if you can imagine trying these on a shelf. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to hang them. And then I thought, well, they may even like it and start growing sideways in the angle of the pot spikes. And that was um, motivation number two. Let's uh, let's put it like that. So the first one was just convenience, and then then this happened, and I thought, yeah, this is one of the best things I ever did in my greenhouse. It looks phenomenal, phenomenal. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, like I said earlier, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And I really hope you enjoyed as much as I did. This is one to look forward to. So uh, I'll keep you updated in between the months, but uh, next year I'm planning on uh, doing another update. Thank you so much for watching and I really, really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.